Many of the athletes, Thomas George and myself, were victims of classroom bullying. I'll bully the mina, me lose his school, and I'm in a school. So, Mr. Charles, thank you, Mr. We have decided to put a stop to that by going out to public schools and doing awareness on bullying. And today, SOPNG came and taught us about bullying and how people get affected by bullying. This project is important to us because it is a platform for advocate for Special Olympics so that more people are aware of the power of inclusion. Most importantly, to do awareness on the topic fully in which most of us athletes face, which has caused us to leave school. The three main goals were basically to create more awareness on the topic bullying, to advocate for inclusion for all abilities by introducing a unified sport to that school, and to invite new schools to participate in SOPNG organized activities. In Papua New Guinea, most of the students and even schools, they do not know actually what Special Olympics does, or they are not fully aware of um, people living with intellectual disabilities. Some of them may not even concentrate their work and stuff like that, but it's good that you people come and then at least uh, give them an uh, opportunity to take part for the betterment of their future. There was really a lot of um, students and even teachers that were really impressed by our program and they wanted to be a part. There were a total of um, six youth leaders that took part in the project itself. There were two youth leaders with ID and four youth leaders without ID. During that time when we did our project, there was the national general election going on. It was a challenge to our, I mean, project on a whole because everything came to a standstill, including business houses. And we visited six schools in total from a period of two weeks. While we were doing that, the election was going on at the same time. So it kind of put a pause to our project. So during that time, all of us were at home, but we effectively communicated. We actually um, successfully completed all six schools by rescheduling the school visits. During this project, I learned that I was able to be a good team member and work well with our scaling project. Then that I was able to communicate well with my scaling project team. I learned that I was able to do project management by actually managing the team and planning and organizing our activities before we went to the schools. I choose to inclusion because through the power of inclusion, we are able to share our gifts regardless. I choose to include because um, through the power of inclusion, there's a lot that can be done and it's a form of advocating so that everyone is aware that regardless of our talents, we are all the same.